All right, welcome back to uh, Taste Panel for Chili Nerds on our seventh installment. All right, today I have a, another special guest sauce today. Uh, this is uh, Satan's Sweat. So, uh, actually this is made uh, by a friend of mine, and uh, it is homemade and uh, not available commercially, but um, I figure uh, since he took the time, we can take the time to uh, feature him on the program here. Okay, actually this is uh, uh, made by my friend Christian. It's a, uh, a habanero based sauce. Uh, I tried to pump him for some information and uh, came up with uh, these facts. Okay, so the basic pepper is the habanero in here. Uh, also in here we have some garlic and some pear as well as honey to uh, help it stick to our throat. So uh, that's the basic ingredient of this guy. So um, here we go. Satan's sweat. So named because he said he broke such a sweat on his brow making this stuff that I guess it reminded him of the foul pits of hell. So anyway, we're gonna see how it tastes. We're hoping it tastes a little better than that. So, all right, first off, let's uh, break our cover here. Sorry, I don't have a clear vessel here. I kind of grabbed this on the fly. Okay, we had a little bit of a sauce explosion. Hmm, aroma. Um, I'm cheating here because I actually got to smell this earlier, though I didn't taste it. Uh, I'm picking up a a uh, a smoky smell from this. Uh, I'm getting a bit of smoke, almost almost like a uh, a barbecue sauce. Though he claims that there's nothing smoked in it, and uh, any uh, anything attributing to such a uh, quality of, of 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 the nose would be that he may have burned the honey a little bit, which uh, may be the case here, but. Yeah, still pretty good smell, but the secret lies in the taste, as we know. So, here we go. Satan's sweat. Uh, let's see if I can get that to the camera a little bit. The spoon. Yeah, all right. It kind of has a thick, almost ketchup-y look to it. Um, very pureed. Uh, I'm not seeing... A lot of chunk going on here. Yeah, put a little more sauce on there. We have it. All right. All right. I'm gonna try to get that up to the camera. Uh, color, ah, uh, looking kind of like a ruddy brown red in appearance, rust colored maybe. And uh, here we go. Satan sweat. Uh, body very creamy. Mm. Kind of has a very thick. Uh, the the fact that it's it's parade, but it still has a very thick mouthfeel. Uh, not getting a whole lot of chunks. Uh, initial hit of garlic, garlic salt maybe, salty garlic flavor. Um, I'm definitely picking up that. Uh, smoky taste that I that I got in the in the smell, irregardless of uh, his claims. There's nothing smoked in it. Um, it has a nice heat. Kind of grabs back of the tongue a little bit, getting a full lip burn, both lower and uh, upper lip. Um, sides of my tongue for sure um, hmm. yeah maybe coming forward a little bit on that mm, of course the pepper taste is there we're tasting some habaneros in there um, yeah. back of the throat area back of the tongue grabs you kind of fire there um, Um, 
um, yeah, now my whole tongue's starting to starting to go off a little bit. Getting some down at the bottom of my gum line. Um, very good flavor. Hmm. Yeah, nice heat accompanied. We've had some hotter stuff, but this uh, isn't slacking. Um, yeah, very good. Sweat. and sweat. Yeah, I'm not even breaking sweat myself here. Ah, get another look at that. All right, and as I said, this was uh, given to me by a friend. So, the importance of friendship. And uh, one thing that I can point out uh, biblically, of what Jesus said about friendship, is that he said there's no greater honor than to give your life for your friends. So, as Jesus did just that and did give his life for his friends and for everybody, so what does that tell you? That God is your friend and he's my friend. So it's important to repent and to believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior because there is no better friend than that of God. So, I shall return in eight minutes or so and let us let you know where we are with Satan's sweat. All right, we're back with our special edition, Satan's sweat. Ah, I tell you, uh, my mouth is still has a little, little uh, heat going on. Kind of ignited my whole mouth. Uh, Flavors lingering are awesome. I got a, a kind of like a salty garlic taste left. Uh, picking up some some uh, some fruitiness from from the peppers and, and and probably perhaps even the pear. Um, got a huge warmth in my chest area, going down the back of my mouth and a little bit down into my stomach, but mainly my chest. It's a good feeling, uh, man. Tell you what, this is uh, this is really putting me in the Halloween spirit. Uh, Satan sweat, a little horror theme going on there. Uh, yeah, thumbs up. Uh, thanks to Christian for providing this one to us, and uh, yeah, very good sauce. Thumbs up. All right, Satan sweat. All right, very good.